Hi, this is Sarah with Pinoco Chrysler. Today we're going to be having a look at a used 2009 Dodge Ram 1500 Laramie 4x4 Crew Cab. It's in a nice Austin tan pearl coat paint. It has just over 137,000 kilometers on it. And under the hood it has a 5.7 V8 cylinder engine. Coming down the front we have your nice automatic headlights and fog lights. The nice chrome front bumper and your two tow hooks. As you come around the side, your mirrors, they have the signal lights on them. They're also powered and heated as well. You're going to be riding on a set of 17-inch chrome rims with a set of Michelin LTX tires with plenty of tread on them. You have your disc brakes on all four. And as we come down the side, you can see it has the nice two-tone coloring. This truck has seating for five, so you have two in the front, and you can seat three in the back. Helping you into this Dodge 1500, you have your remote start and keyless entry. So if we start it up, and I'm going to unlock it, you guys come with me inside, we'll have a look and see what else it has to offer. Okay, so here we are on the inside, so if you have a look at the driver's door here, you have your nice wood paneling along it, and then you have your power options, so you have your unlock and lock, you have your windows, and then you also have your mirrors as well. You have a look down here, you have a nice cubby with drink holder as well. Has some nice floor mats in it. And then the driver's seat has the power option so that you can move it forward, back, up, down, has the lumbar settings, and then it also has the memory so that if you hit one, you can set it for yourself, or two, you can set it for your husband, which is really nice. So if you guys are sharing the vehicle and you're constantly switching that way you can set it to your own setting and you're not always messing around with the buttons you just hit one or two and then it sets it for you got nice leather seats inside with a nice Dodge Ram logo on them they're also heated and the cooling seats so I'm just gonna hop up inside and we'll have a look at what else it has to offer all right so now that I'm in a look here you got some controls on the steering wheel here that control all your options up in your gauges here so if you press the up and down it moves through the menu I'm not sure if you can really see that but it moves through and then you can hit your select button once you find what you want or else your back button if you went too far on the back of the steering wheel it also has your settings that you can change the radio station and the volume controls as well so you can turn it up and down which is really nice over here you have your your light switches so you can set them however you would like and then as we come into the middle you have your lcd monitor here <clears throat> with you have your satellite radio your fm your am it's nice and this one's not connected, so if you just call the number, you can hook that up. You also have your Uconnect and Bluetooth, so if you hit that, cancel. And then you have your menu options. So you can go through all your menu where there's put in pictures, and then you have your navigation, so you can set where you're wanting to go. Come down to these controls here you have your uh, climate control so you can set it different on both sides which is really nice so if you you run hot and your husband runs cold or your husband runs cold and you run hot you guys can change the settings and set it however you'd like you could have your heat blasting and he can have his his own cool and then you come down here we have our seat settings so you have your heated seats and your cooling seats and then you also have a nice heated steering wheel which is really really nice especially on those cold winter days when you forget your gloves and look here you have some drink holders in the center console and a plug-in for a 12 volt down in here as well Not there and 
then you have some little, nice little cubbies all over, which is really nice. You can have tons of room to store stuff. And a nice big center console in the middle here that also has the... Sorry, my the sun is shining in here quite, so it's kind of messing with my video. But you can open one time, and then you can also open a second time, which makes it really deep, which is really nice, especially if you want to hide some things that you never want to see again. You also have your heated and cooling seats on the passenger side with also those power controls as well. In the front here you have two glove boxes. Like I said, there's just tons of storage up in front here, so you have a nice little glove box there. And then you have one down here as well. It still has manuals in it. Again, you have that nice wood paneling on the side there with all your power controls. As you come up here, you have your controls for the back window, so you can open that back window in the back, which is really, really nice. And then you also have your sunroof, hello! Nice, nice blue cloudy sky today. It's super beautiful inside. All right, so if you guys come with me, we'll go have a look in the back and see what else we got going on. Okay, so now we're in the back. So again, you have that nice wood paneling along the doors. Nice floor mats in there with lots and lots of leg room. Very nice. There's some drink holders on the floor as well. And then you have your auxiliary, your heated seats, and a 12 volt plug down there. Which is for your, hold on a minute, DVD player, woohoo! Fun, especially if you have kids. Plenty of space in the back here. You have your 60-40 fold down seats as well, so that you can fold them down if you'd like. And then you have uh, armrests with drink holders in the middle as well. And then there's that black window that slides open with the controls that you have in the front. So we'll have a walk around the back of the truck here. And if you can see, there's a nice box cover on top that you can fold back, which is nice, especially if you're hauling things that you're not wanting to get dirty or to fall out or get rained on. And then as we're around the back here, you can see you have your nice step bumper in chrome as well. And then you have your trailer hookups here. Open to the package. So overall, this truck is in excellent condition. So that is our 2009 Dodge Ram Laramie. If you guys have any questions or want to come on down to Pinoca Chrysler, we have a great sales team and an excellent finance team as well. Have a good day.